And there goes the T-van and a couple of cruisers. One guy uses two 200 series cruisers as work vehicles. They came across the French line from Birdsville, no worries, with the T-van in high range most of the way. And these are the four guys, the, the businessmen looking guys, they're on an independent party. They were all sitting around one table last night. And these gentlemen travellers have come across and they've come up from Dalhousie after the French line. They're just airing up. And they saw the sign saying that Dalhousie Hamilton Homestead Udnadatta Road is closed, so we might have to go to Calgary. And the only way out of here is Calgary and then back to Udnadatta through from Marla. So we still have yet to phone the um, officials and get it an up to date. Because the Simpson could be closed. Graham said there's 15 or 40 mils of rain coming across all the way to the eastern coast. Well, the sun's out, and I met another guy who's got a sat phone. He's going to tether his iPad to it and see the weather report. And it, they, they want to go across the rig road as well. They're camped over there across the levee bank. There's a levee bank over there you can walk across the camp. And they've got boil water as well. And there's a, an old couple in a, an Apollo, 80 year olds. They're wandering around as well. But, as Al Graham said, there's 15 to 44 mils of rain coming across, going all the way to the east coast. Just getting a weather updates, everybody. What roads are closed? Week, this is estimate. Um, so, I don't know what the rain's doing, but the, the prudent thing to do is to head up to, to Fink and Colgra. Um, I think our plan today will be to try and get to Cooper Pedy tonight, uh, which I think should be achievable. We get there on dark. Um, and, uh, yeah, make plans from there because most start heading home. Convoy heading out well, of town, we actually, and we've left the uh, rest of our convoy. Um, our little lace bug is back in out there. Heading off to the thing, just take the hubs out. Serenity. There's going to be green feed out there for months. There's a couple of cows right over there. Look at those birds. Well, we're up near Charlotte Waters. It's not actually Charlotte Waters on the, the road to Fink. And we just phoned Udna Data and they said, what does the sign say? We said, well, it's 221, is the road open? Yes, yeah, open and there's people coming through. No worries, people coming through the last few days. So we'll go down across the Woboy crossings. Woboy. Well, we passed our lunch spot where the cow was stuck in the yard and here's the, he's gone and here's the uh, water, abandoned water tank. We're just leaving New Crown and on the nav man there's three lakes over there and a windmill. We'll have to have a look on Google Earth. Well, it's all clouded over everywhere. Hopefully it'll rain in a couple of days to justify a little shortcut down past Hamilton Station.
amazingly and we'll salt. take back our bit of zebra rock yeah. and just tasting the, uh, the salt bush. The salt bush. Mm. Taste that. There's you another one down there. Like. Yeah. That's a different one. Oh, the rock. Yeah. yeah. Mm. It's a salt bush. It's salty. It's very salty. Try it. Yeah. Absolutely. So no there's idea. some water up there or down there. That's down there. It's satisfying that way. Mm. This fresh spinifex. Probably. Yeah, just down there, a couple of K, I lost another bit of tooth. Not sure where it came from. Here's the, here's the definitive sign. It's the way that Hobbsy said to come. This is going back across the Ringo waterhole. Spits of rain. There's no gurgling. Well, no gurgle, 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 gurgle. Filling up the emptying another twenty liters. Another twenty liters and um drying out the track the ground sheet. Pardon? Our favourite camp spot. Yeah. Didn't didn't think we'd be back here, but here we are where we camped under this very tree on that very spot. There's our berry campfire. No, oh, it's got the Pedurka. Pedurka. Pedurka Road. Mm. There's the Stevenson Creek crossing. There's water up there. This is where I photographed this tree. Well, it was... It swerved around it. It's deeper. Yeah, it squished. Mm. Water squished mm. all around it. Mm. Yeah. I was filming yeah. here, mm. and the bow see. wave went up over that. Mm. So it's gone down. Crossing. I think I had a bit of that sinking feeling. Yeah. Wet to dry. All the beautiful clouds. It's been a graded road. Fort 50k, we've got 120 to go to Udnadatta and 20 down to Hamilton. Detour went up, the detour sort of made the, the dam. Mm. I think we photographed this last time. But yeah, but not the ducks. Oh, look at that little bit at the back going like the clappers. Mm. Going backwards and forwards. Feel the serenity. Yeah, the quote is How's the serenity? How's the serenity? Oh, it's not moving down. Oh, 
road forwards it down there a bit. Might be a deep crossing actually. Bit of an ass. Real donkey, he's a friend of the two yeah. horses. Yeah. Friend of the horses back there. said there was a detour around so we'll give that a go. Yeah, we'll go through that. Rather than going through that lot. Yeah, we'll go up no, that's that lot. That was that's what I thought of. Getting back onto the road. Oh whoops. Oh, 
Is that second gear low range? Yeah. Back on the high side. Fun off. All the treads are full up with mud. Oh, that was another really muddy, muddy, sloshy section. Water went up over the roof. again. Oh. And we have retired to an executive suite or an on suite in the ABC TV in Udna Data and having a home cooked meal and sending rescue SMSs to Maxine and Francis and Graham. Zudna data after yesterday's um, muddy run down through Hamilton and Todd Morden stations. Why you need lots of clearance between your wheels and the wheel arch. Still predicting 15 mils of rain, and uh, looks like it. That's Mount Dustin Ruins over there. That's the rolling. There is the ruins, the ruins there. there. It's on the yeah. north side of the highway. Mm. The mud map is incorrect. Is it on the There's the ruins. Whether someone's visiting the ruins or camp there. Now if I just There's a man walking around. He's got a trailer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just checking his tyres. Mm -hmm. There's somebody else. Oh, kids. A, yeah. One, two, three kids and a, one's yeah. break down. Mm. Mm. Okay. I go oh, over and... It's labelled Mount Dutton. Is it? Mm -hmm. I want to go around anyway. Um, orange flashing light. Oh, that was handy. Mm -hmm. Got a silhouette like the dingo shot. Choice of roads. Choice of graded roads. day. Well, that's the longest rail bridge in the South Australia. 
or was. Oh, we don't expect to use them now. This is our brand new tyre. The poo tent. Time for lunch at William Creek again. 120. That's where we camp with Tom and Maxine. 168 to Cooper PD 202. Uh, fridge is keeping cool, all right. As usual, no more mud today. Nice, we didn't expect it would be alright. Good, this is the Union Creek Airport, and there's a mob of people just flown in, had from Cooper PD over the Painted Desert and had lunch, and now they're going to do the Lake Air flight. Disappointing weather wise. So it's an hour or so out of William Creek, 20 to 4, and we're at Curdy Merker past the Mound Springs and Coward Springs. This is Curdy Merker. We passed two groups of uh, tag alongs, one a tag along calls 2016 up the data. And another couple and a couple of caravans, an old guy in a caravan. We might have chatted to him before lunch. This is blah 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 blah. There's Curdy Merker. Looking in remarkably good condition. Well, it keeps getting restored. We 
we had lunch here in the HJ Holden in 99 or something. And we found a campfire on the other side just down there, it was still burning. Some tourist. There's a lovely little spot just over there on the south side. There on the roof, we've got a message from Hobsey to say you're an asshole, Lyle, and we're just going to move the trailer here, 5:15 down here before anyone else comes in, and just reporting on the broken down bus, 15k out. Coming back to the Mari pub for dinner. So all the Outback Spirit kids are camped here under, under the roof after having dinner. They had dinner yet? <laughs> 